Hey, we own. Uh, Shalom. Shalom. First off, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh. Hashem. Hakadosh. We have double honors to our apostles, double honors to our elders of great millstone. The college is truth and good will. Side GC, hopefully, I preach this truth and high sincerity. We the brothers out of GMS Kansas City camp. Give you another weekend, week out to prophesy the downfall of America, as well as wake up the twelve tribes of Israel, which is the so-called blacks, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans. You are the true children of the Bible, all right? We're going to go right to it with the spirit. I was watching uh, Elder Apostle Tahar's uh, lesson going into it, man. Uh, basically, hey, you're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars. There's a lot of that going on. So don't get it twisted. We're not at the end yet. So don't get too comfortable, man. All right, there's, there's a certain thing that has to come to pass before all hell breaks through, all World War III happens, and that's the MLTB. And uh, before Kent, we was just talk just talking to it with the brother man about how you know how these CBDCs and shit like that. There's, there's a lot of signs that's going towards that that chip, man. So we're very close to Revelation 13 and 16 coming to pass, and that's what you need to have all eyes on right now. It's Revelation 13 and 16. It's obvious World War III is at is at hand. It's gonna happen any moment. We just seen all these countries build up and there's so much the news is being flooded with it, man. We're being flooded with it. But don't let that uh, get your hopes up too high till you feel like this thing is, isn't real because the prophecy isn't happening when you expect it. Right. You know? Yep. This thing is a this thing is a marathon, man, but yet it is going to come quickly though. This is because the time's being sped up. We're already in the next new year, man. We're already in the springtime. And it feels like we, we was just out here prophesying like this. Yesterday, man. Yeah, got you. This year went by fast as hell. Yeah. You know? But keep watch, man. If y'all both got free set. So, uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. It says must come to pass. They say maybe. It no. said must come to pass. It means the wars and the, and the rumors, okay? And right now you're hearing a lot of rumors going on right now of different wars happening. Don't let that get you thrown off course. You know, just know that, hey, this is a part of prophecy, yes. This is a piece of token that's coming a step towards that MOTB and ultimately the Lord returning. But we're so close, man. We're so close. Now is not the time to get discouraged. Don't get overly hyped up to where you end up discouraging yourself. You know, but yet, still maintain that that sense of urgency of wanting to get the fuck up out of here because you're in the right spirit yeah because yeah. last year was named the the year of hastening the day of yahweh bashim yahweh shah right you always got to keep that that spirit of wanting it to happen but maintaining that patience yeah. that's right yeah. uh, it says for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet the end is not yet we're not at the end yet man we're not at the end yet be ready for the end, yes, but we're not at the end yet. But hasten the day, man. Continue to, to strive for the day and return of the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, so I'm going to grab the precept of uh, the day shall be shortened for the elect's sake. Yeah, I got something real quick. Uh, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah 51, and I'm going to start at verse 46. It says, matter of fact, let's start at verses uh, 43. It says, in our cities are des uh, desolation, a dry land in the wilderness, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doth any son of man pass, bear, pass thereby, which is going to the destruction of America because we understand that when the destruction comes, this place is going to be a desert, okay? It says, And I will punish Baal and Babylon, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he swallowed up, and the nations should not flow together anymore to him, and yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall, which shall wall of your defense systems. It says, Unless your heart faint, and ye fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land, a rumor should come both one year and after that another year should come a rumor and violence in the land and ruler against rulers man mm. yeah okay. yeah because world war three has basically been being talked about since the end of world war two you know it's basically been what they esau will call it a cold war where it's just this passive aggressive you're gonna build a nuke i'm gonna build a nuke you know and fast forward 50 years it's hella nukes now. <laughs> that was that was the Lord's doing, but that's that's a rumor, man. And and everybody's talking about World War Three, man. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's worried that little flinch let Putin cross the border of Ukraine last year. That little flinch, all these military women crying. 
all right? While on the fuck out, meanwhile in Ukraine, they grabbing niggas out of the street. They running, grown men, kicking and screaming. It's on camera. Dragging their ass for military conscription, conscription man. All right? And you don't think they're going to they gonna drop the age? Because the military age in America, it used to be 21 until World War II. And they were like, nah, 18. That'll, that'll do it. Right. And yeah. now, what's going to happen this time? Hey, women going to Women, it? yep. You, you uh, 12 year olds, 10 year olds. Transformers. Transformers. All of y'all going in there, man. <clears throat> That, that rumor, the reason the Lord builds it up year after year after year is to get everybody, get everybody psyched. It's kind of like a Mayweather fight, man. Anticipation. They say anticipation is the best thing. Yeah, you build it up. But everybody knows it's coming, man. There's not a single nation that's under any illusion that, that there's going to be peace. <laughs> China's already gearing up. Saudi Arabia. You see all the other nations. They're already, they already know it's coming, man. It's you brain dead fucking Americans walking around, man. Yeah, especially you, you niggas. You niggas, man. <laughs> you niggas. <laughs> you don't Appreciate know nothing about nothing. You think you think cash dollars are the things that 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 uh that are most important in your life. Not even realize this man can flip a switch and just ban that shit, man. That's right. And then what y'all gonna do, man? That's right. You're all gonna be broke as fuck. Yeah. Taking all the pictures on the for the gram, but fucking stack of cash, holding next to your head, smiling and shit. Yeah, right. And all that's gonna be is, is, is same value as uh, a piece of toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. And this, and this war is not gonna be like any other war. That's why the scriptures call it the Virgin Daughter. Why? Because this place really hasn't had uh, hands put on it, man. And it's really these Americans over here in stateside. All right. Preset. This is Habakkuk chapter. 2 verse 1 I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved mm -hmm. and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables right. that he may run that read it that's right man see these prophecies are not something a, a regular man can just open the book and read it man right these things had to be given with divine spirit great men and disseminate it on down, man. Yeah. And we're making it we're making it plain. We get out here every week and tell you what's coming. Alright? We we explain to you what's happening with China and Russia. We break it all down, we make it all plain, man. Right. That's part of that's part of a watch. Alright? You can't be a watchman and be like, oh I think I see something. Like, no, you need to know if that's an enemy or not, man. It's gotta be made plain. If you don't know what the third is out there, man, you're a, you're a watchman. Then the Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna pull your card, man. Yeah. All you guys that call yourselves watchmen, but you're not really watching, or you or you're watching, but you don't really know what you're seeing. The Karagma, it could be this or it might be that. No, man. That, that you're not a real watchman. We're supposed to make things plain, break it down to the flock, so we can deliver them, man. Read it again. Habakkuk chapter two, verse two. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables. Make it, all right, so we're out here to make it plain upon the tables for you people. Make it obvious exactly what it's talking about. So that when you hear it, you hear the, the, the terror of it, that you may run, you may prep yourself for what's getting ready to come. And how you prep yourself is by getting right with the eyes of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Coming back to the Lord, keeping the law, statutes, commandments. But the vision is what? Yet for a, appointed, a specific appointed time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what it say. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And that time is not known by any man, not even Yahweh Shai. Okay? So it's going to be a specific time something's going to happen. But yet it is, it is a specific time that's already pre-scheduled. It's scheduled yeah. by Yahweh. Yeah. That means it's going to come. Right. So for you to be in the mindset, oh, it's not going to happen in my lifetime, you're basically trying to null and void what the Lord just said in the scriptures. God. Yeah. It says, Habakkuk 2 verse 3, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end there shall speak. At and what, At what time shall it speak? It say, at the end it shall speak and not lie. Now, if we ask these people if they was to come close to the, I got across the street now, I thought it was across. No. If you ask a, a regular person walking by, do you believe we're in the end times? 90% of people are actually saying yes. Yeah. yeah. They're, yeah. they're acknowledging it. Yeah. We so asked that so if at the end it shall speak, that means we're living in a time period when these things that are written of that's going to happen in the future is going to happen, yes, in your lifetime. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It say, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, 
but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. So though because it seems like a long time, wait for it, man. Have patience. It seems like, oh shit, man, when the fuck are you gonna get up out of here? Brothers ask themselves that all the time. Like, man, how long we gotta keep dealing with this shit? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. But though it tarry, just, just wait for it, man, because it's gonna come. And when it does come, then it's gonna feel like, damn, this shit came quick as fuck. Yeah. It's gonna happen so unexpectedly, you know? That's right. All of a sudden, the economy just gonna bam, hit, 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 damn already. And then it's just boom, 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 boom. MOTB, next thing you know, you got people riding up motherfuckers in the street, man. That shit gonna happen, man, within, hey, it's gonna come quick when it does come. It's just taking a minute, but just hold on, man. Well, that's because when it happens, it's not gonna stop. That's uh, why it says that it's not gonna tear it. When it hits, it's gonna hit. There ain't gonna be no way. Hold up, slow up. Nah, we're gonna let it yeah. go. That's why the, the scriptures, uh, scriptures like it until a woman giving birth, man. Yeah. When a woman gives birth, once those contractions start, man, it's on the way. <laughs> That's it. It's gonna do this, and it's gonna contract, and do this. But once the contractions start, man, the baby's coming. Right. That's that's the rumors of wars, wars and rumors of war. That's what's going on. It right, looks like it's getting close, and then it kind of look. That's why I say with the way Terry, wait for it, because that that's how it seems to us. Like right. things turning up, and they kind of turn back down. Like in 2020, I thought we was out of here, man. That's right, man. And that, that's how it works. That's why the Lord is is, is perfect with his with examples and the perils that he uses. He yeah. likens it onto labor pains, and I just witnessed that firsthand. Yeah. You know, and it was time for the baby to come, and she's like, I gotta push now. He's like, no, hold on, wait, wait, no, I gotta push right now. Yeah. And she's like, I don't even remember saying that. It just, it just happened. That was the time that, when it's time, it's time. Man. That was her spirit speaking. God. Her spirit was saying that. It's like, hey, I like, gotta get this thing out of me. I gotta push right now, out of nowhere. The scriptures refer to this thing as labor pains, man. Yeah. Contraction, like how with nine months when the baby is set forth, it's gonna come out. That baby ain't gonna hold up for nobody. When it's time for him to pop his head out, he's gonna come out. Man. Yeah. Right. So I got a preset real quick. This is Revelation 9. I'm gonna let y'all brothers do the Georgia teaching today, man. Yeah. All right. But uh, this is uh, Revelation 9. And I'm gonna start at verses, um, let's start at verses 13. It says, And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the Most High, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet. Okay, we know a trumpet is a sound of war, alarm. Okay, we think of a trumpet, you think of something that's pointing to a alarm. Right? Yeah. Okay. And it says here, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. So the Most High literally have supernatural forces that's in that particular part of the land. Okay. A certain judgment because the Lord have certain angels set up a specific judgment. Like you got a specific angel that's set up over rain, an angel over fire, an angel over snow, an angel over hell, an angel over war. All right. A guardian angel, an angel of death. Right. The Lord has spirits for everything, man. Right. Okay. Because it's a perfect order in the, in the spirit world. It's a perfect order of the heavens, man. Yeah. Okay. And it says here, loose the four angels which are bound in a great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and for a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay a third part of men. So that's a specified time. Yeah. So it says that, that always stood out to me, man. It says, an hour, a day, a month, and a year. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, hey, it's it's a date on this shit, we just don't know. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's that's exciting, just knowing the date is set already, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. we just don't know when, man. Yeah. We just gotta hold on and pray the Lord have mercy on us. Hey, the brother said it, he was like, hey, man, when they see how shot leap off that throne, man, they said, look, we ain't gonna see it in real time, but we gonna have a footage of it in the kingdom. <laughs> yeah. how you, how, the most high gonna say, we how shot gonna leap down here, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> he wants to save us, two brothers, man. Right, right. The Lord ain't just sitting on the cross, me on, on the side of the throne of the most high, looking like, oh, yeah, let them niggas suffer. No, man, he's looking like, hey, yeah. he's seeing brothers in that low state, that hurt state, like they want to give up the spirit. Yeah. Yeah, how shot sees it, man. Uh, you know? He wasn't given the time either, so you know he ain't just ready. <laughs> uh, appreciate it. Go ahead, bro. This is Joe. It's like it. This is Joe, chapter 14, verse 5. Let's start verse 1. Yeah. Joe 14 and 1. It says, Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continue with not. And dost thou open thy eyes upon such one and bringest me into judgment with thee? It said, who could bring a clean thing out of an unclean, not one? Right, so you can't bring an unclean thing out of a clean. It don't work that way, man. So like for you guys out there, like I was looking.
the NCAA tournament. They playing over here in Sprint Center and shit. It's NCAA yeah, shit it's going on. Read that again, brother. Uh, this is uh, Joe 14, verse 4. Who could bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Yeah. Seeing his days are determined. Can you get that word determined? Out? It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right, appointed. When you look up appointed, that means that it's a specified time. Like if I appoint you to run the camera, that means that's your specific duty to do so. Yep. Okay, so Esau has a particular time and day that he's gonna go down, man. Right. Okay, and that's how the Lord set it up from the beginning. So, hey, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man, hey, whenever he decides to move the hands of time, we, we, we with it, man. Right. Because, hey, like we say, this place is gonna go from inoperable, I mean, operable to inoperable overnight. Like, <laughs> Babylon is gonna collapse overnight. Bro, that shit was like day, night and day. Yeah, yeah. Before the shutdowns came, just a week ago, motherfuckers were turning up, bro, chilling. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, the shutdowns came. People was like, oh shit, we weren't expecting this. Yeah. It was to the point, like, you go down to like certain bars and shit, they literally had only five to ten people that could get in the bar at a time. Yeah. Because of the big boogeyman. They had the contact, contact tracing shit. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't get into a bar unless you put your first, last name, and phone number. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to call you. Yeah, that's that weirdo shit, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, man, I'm just trying to get a beer and get the fuck out of here, man. So I got some shit on you, man. <laughs> yeah. You got and, that, uh, uh, yeah. The Hebrew word for uh, determined is uh, like shop. And it means to, to do, to fashion, to accomplish, to make. Mm -hmm. All right? So when it, when it says uh, his days are determined, that means it's, 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 it's forced. He doesn't have a choice. He's, your time, he, he made, if, if the Lord said the world is going to end at, at uh, 4 p.m. March 25th, then guess what? That's when it's going to end, man. Yeah. That time is set. It's appointed, man. Yeah. And not a and not a second pass. Yeah. Not a not a millisecond pass. Cause the most high, he just that accurate. Man. Right. I'm gonna read it again. It say, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah. It says, turn from him that he may rest, till he shall accomplish as a hireling his day. Which uh -huh. means that at a, at a certain time, you, you only hire somebody for a certain amount of time, right? You get hired 40 hours, 40 hours a week. Everything other than that, you're doing extra, man. You're you going outside of your job, man. Yeah. But Esau, this, this, this is what he's hired on for. Proverbs 16 and 4, man. It say, the Lord Yahweh made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Yeah, yep. right. After the day of evil, you don't need that nigga no more, man. Right, right. The Lord called him his sword, you know? Yeah. So basically, like in the kingdom of heaven, like you got guys out there teaching that after a thousand years, we gonna go back down. No, we, how, hey, nobody's gonna subject to how we shot. And how we gonna be subjected when we got spiritual power and we got the commandments written on us? Right. Because remember, the first reason why we went off is because we broke the commandments. But the Lord said he was going to put a new heart within us to keep the commandments. So we'll never go off, man. Right. So ain't nobody going to come and knock us out of power. So Esau is not going to be needed after that period, after slavery. The Lord going to put that, he going to destroy that sword, man. Right. You know, like the nation should want no war, no war. Yeah. So what's the primary instrument of war? A sword. Right. And that's Esau need him, so the Lord don't need him. So that's his whole purpose of being a weapon stick for the nation of Israel, man. Right. Okay, somebody give me that in uh, Isaiah 10, starting like verses 5, it says, Assyria and the rod of my anger. Uh, okay, okay. it's one of the reasons the city of Jerusalem is uh, was named after the word peace, because that's going to be the capital. <laughs> so that's that's going to be the foundation of the world, man. Imagine that. All you heathens fighting. What are y'all fighting against, man? Y'all not tired yeah. of uh, GMOs and Esau showing up at your border, offering you diplomacy and democracy? And yeah. Putting sanctions on you, being off. Y'all ain't tired of this shit. Snatching you your kids. Going up the rulership, man. Right. Oh well, shit! The North Korean army. They just recruited them. They will be 1.4 million more troops, man. China already got like a fucking million man army. Yeah. Now I did the research on Babylon. They have like 400 something thousand or 300 something thousand active troops. I think like 400 something thousand reserve troops, and I think they got like a couple hundred thousand on standby. They got barely over a million troops, and they're spread thin. Okay, so you may have 50,000 in Iraq, 20,000 
regard to bordering the, to the China, I mean, the borders of Taiwan, right. okay, out there in Australia, they're too spread thin, man. Yeah. So when they fight war on all those fronts, and when everybody merged to the Middle East, they got to call platoons from all over the place, and they ain't got the manpower for that. Yeah. That's why they got to bring back the fucking draft, man. Right. And you niggas out there, you gonna get draft, bro. All you right. stalking you demons, you been talking madness about the truth, man. You gonna get draft in that world, man. Hey, you're out shot, you know, hey, you're going to be this cause from face to face, man. That's right, you know? So, it said Isaiah chapter 10, I'm just starting verse 1. It said, Woe well, unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. It says, Turn aside the needy. It says, To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. And you know, Jake, they, they got the right to, to serve the Most High, man. They, they have the right to call themselves Israelites. They have the right to call themselves, call them the names of Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, and, and to claim their heritage. Right. But this man actively uh, wants to prevent you people from doing that. You blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Well, right. say that he offended a man even in his, he, he oppresses a man in his heritage, yeah. man. Yeah. Bro, man they're, they're making crime now heritage. to speak out against the uh, Israelis, bro. That's going to be a crime thing. And they directed that towards us because they know that we got the information into the bunker of lies they've been teaching. Yeah, crime, bro. Right. Right. And then there's also, uh, within the pure language, the pure tongue, the Swan Kadash, you know, you have the true name of the Lord, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yeah. They know that there's power in that name. You know, so that's one of the information that they don't want to, to push out and publicize is the true name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. they, they, they can't have all... Uh, too many Israelites call upon that name because you're gonna have something that's gonna happen after that. And that's gonna break down their demonic strongholds. So their allegiance is a spiritual demon, Satan. And they believe that's where they derive all their power from. But that power, even that power is dwindling from them. Right. You know, because the scriptures say that uh, he, he sent Satan out to even deceive them too. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You see, because there's the, the things that their prophet Esau, he'll let you join all day. You, you so-called Hispanics, he'll, he'll let you join a cartel all day, man. Because he can benefit off of that. Right. He'll, he'll let you niggas join GD, BD, Blood Crip all day. Because he can benefit off of that, man. Let, 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 you call yourself, let you call yourself an Israelite. Oh, no. Red light. Shut, shut that down. Yeah. Let's keep going. This is uh, Isaiah 10, verse, verse 2. It says, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right of the poor from my people the widows may be their prey and they and that they may rob the fatherless yep. it says and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far to whom will ye flee for help and where will ye leave your glory yeah. <laughs> without me they shall bow down under the prisoners and they shall fall under the slain. For, the, for all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Mercy, the Lord is merciful, man. You know, the Lord has mercy on us. So therefore, out of all the atrocities we've committed, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai still has his mercy, man. Because it was set up that he was going to save the remedy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then going to down to verse 5, what you was asking for, this is uh, Isaiah 10, verse 5. It says, O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. A staff, what is a staff? One day you think of a staff as a, a, a weapon of war or a power. Yeah. Okay, and the power of Esau is a sword, man, the left hand of the most high. It says the staff in their hand is the weapon of my indignation, man. So Esau is the indignation of the Hawabash and the shot. Yeah. This is the Lord's anger walking around here. That's why these cryptic motherfuckers are so all out of whack, man. Yeah. These right. Edomites are. A uh, second way of committing bloodshed, man. Yeah. It's in that nature. Right. That staff is a is an instrument of correction. Yeah. Because he yeah. say he that spared the rod of his son, basically you you just you gonna have shame in him. Yeah. Yeah. And you see that all throughout Babylon, man. All these little fatherless niggas, you can't tell them niggas nothing, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But the Lord, the Lord is using that's why it's so foolish to get carnal, man. Because this guy is a weapon of you how about you have a shot. Yeah. Yeah. It is extremely stupid to try to pick up guns, flash them, and think you're going to get out that way. You know? Yep. The only one that could take this man out of power is the one that set him up. Yes. Yeah. Jakes don't realize that. Yeah, but this is uh, Isaiah 10 verse 5 again. 
It says, O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. Now who is the hypocritical nation? Israelites. Israelites, man. Okay. Yeah. You yep. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're a bunch of hypocrites, man. Yep. Okay. Yep. And that's that's why the Mosai he tried to give Jake the escape route before he told him that was gonna happen. Because right. he said in that verse four, say without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners and they shall fall under the slave. That's without the Mosai. Yeah, right. Jake has a history of, of running away from their power, man. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's like it's like that wild ass dog in the neighborhood that never want to stay in his yard. You're like, oh, nigga, loose again. Yeah. <laughs> nope. yeah. That's why the scriptures call Jake, man, a wild wild, wild man. Wild yeah. Wild, man. Yeah, I gotta say you niggas deserve it, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How you get out of the out of the most worst slave intense labor, <laughs> find out who you are and you still be a pure nigga, man. Because it's no instant gratification and it, it's no it's no immediate correction and yep. see the scripture says sinner can do uh uh, uh evil a thousand times, man. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So they in the mindset like, well, look, we ain't got fucked up yet. Let's right. continue. See, Jake is known for overstepping boundaries, man. Right. Yeah. They keep poking you until you do something. Yeah. That's what they're doing in the Most High, man. Right. And the Most High got something for you. This is the book of Romans 13 and 1. It says, let every soul be subjected into the higher powers. Mm -hmm. But there's no power but of the Most High. And the powers that are be ordained of the Most High down, even though this was written before the time, wait. Uh, 70 AD, had, no, it hadn't happened yet. So this was actually written at a time that those uh, those fucking Sakari niggas, they should have took heed. That's why Paul wrote it, man. That's why he said the things that are written before our time are written for our honor today. Yeah. He says, whosoever resists the power, resists the ordinance of Yahweh, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. The Lord set up the Romans, man, right. to come against Jacob. Right. He set up Edomites, man. Right. He set up this king. Right. right. And Yahweh Shai, the most powerful being, on the planet Earth was subject to the Romans. He didn't. He didn't try to start no revolts. All right. All right. He, he showed you Jake's how to do it by by overcoming him through righteousness, man. Hey, they came to him. They was like, "Well, shit, master, since you're coming, I set up the kingdom." They brought him the question. They was like, "Well, shit, what about the money? Do we rent it to Caesar?" And he said, "Go give me a coin." He said, "Go give me a coin." Yep. And then he said, "Whose face is on the money?" <laughs> See, right. they was looking for loopholes in Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah was by the book, bro. Right. You ain't getting shit past him, man. Yeah. Like, look, man, this nigga's face is on the money. Give him money. Give him his money. Right. Because we, we understand this shit is all carnal anyway, bro. We tell Jake, man, don't be trying to go into the scripture to get pulled over, man. <laughs> well, the scriptures say that. Nah, oh, bro. The scriptures say, hey, don't, don't resist them, man. That's one of the most beautiful things about the brother Paul, man. He just basically gave you the whole game on how to move in this time. Yeah. Cause we ain't never been away from our power this this long, man. Uh, yeah. The temple this long, and, uh, you know. So we're an extreme disadvantage. Right. Okay. Now, Christians will take the, the scriptures and twist it around and say this means that, but Paul is trying to tell us how to move while we're scattered, man. Yeah. That's a very, very, very difficult thing to do. Yeah. That's why we get called stiff neck, hard headed. You know. That's why we keep going into captivity. That's why. That's why they try to take the law when Paul says, "Be it though they don't have a wife." That's that's wisdom for the time that we're living in, man. That don't mean you can you can only have one wife. You know? Because there's gonna be a time where we're gonna have to just concede certain things, man. We don't we don't have any continuous city here, man. You trying to buck up, fight cases. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Scripture say agree yeah. with thy adversary quickly. Yeah, you got them Morris Jakes talking about I'm a sovereign citizen. Yeah. Nigga, the white man signs your paycheck and you pay that nigga rent every month. Right. You are not sovereign in, in no means. Right. Nigga get blown away over trying to take it, man. Huh? <laughs> nigga yeah. try to go to the law. The scripture say that Esau don't keep his own law. Yeah. yeah. His own law. He's passed laws to you niggas, man. Yeah, that ain't him. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, right you a <laughs> ticket. <laughs> and like, look, man, this is some bullshit with shit. This ain't, nigga, you got to fall by. You three-fifths of a man. Bro. Right. Right, you you had that video a couple months ago of that Jake who didn't want to give the officer his, his, his ID. Them niggas ended up smashing his fucking uh, door or window and uh, yanking that nigga out the car. You can hide this shit, bro. Nigga, if you don't pay that $200 and keep it pushing, man. Push. Right, right. right. Nigga, leave the committed nulture another day, nigga. Yeah, but right. yeah, they always yeah, got yeah. A, a point to make. Yeah. Right, but to get back to the brother's point, you know, the Lord set these Romans up, man. <laughs> That's what you're fighting against. If you're not out here fighting for the truth, 
then, then it's all futile, man. It's all futility. What well, it says here, whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of Yahweh. What's yeah. the ordinance or order? Yeah. yeah, God. Okay, that's the law of the Lord, man. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. What is damnation? Yeah. Get put down, man. Yeah. Now, that don't make you a bitch. They don't make, like, if an officer pulled me over, shit, I talk shit with him. I'm like, hey, how y'all doing, man? Y'all seen the game today? Who y'all think gonna win the NCAA tournament? All right. Be smart. Who with wisdom? How about them Chiefs? Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> shit. I already know he put me over for a bullshit reason, but hey, we got a bigger purpose. Right. My purpose is bigger than this bitch ass nigga. Yeah. He gonna get what's coming. I'm trying to make it the prophesied another day, man. Right. Got a Yekwa, man. Yeah. Yekwa. That's right. You know how many chicks out of Yekwa my way out of? Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. Jake don't know how to do that, man. How many times did King David take the low, man? Hey, but there you need to was acting like retarded, bro. He was acting like a bad man. Yeah. He's shit. Like, man, this is a bad man. Get him out of here. Yeah, he took the law, man. Yeah. Nobody's gonna throw hands with him. Yeah. You know? It's the same, same shit happened when to me. When he still took the law. Yesterday. yesterday I was driving, uh, driving back back home, man, on the highway. I had to pull over and to fix some shit in my trunk. You know, he saw it come pulling up right behind me. I could have been an asshole too. What the fuck you mind your business? You know, bowed off like Jake wants to. Oh, I'm not answering no questions, all type of shit. I do all that, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, here, I'm fixing my dogs in the truck, got loose, my bad, you know. How, how's your day going? Oh good, thanks, thanks for checking up on me. Yeah. Hey, he saw rolled out, man. No problem, man. Yeah. Every time them niggas just be needing approval of Jake, bro. Yeah. Every right. time them niggas be needing somebody to talk to, man. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like when we was out, like when I went to go see the brother, man, at the little spot, man, the fucking, the, the, the guy, man, the dude, he was like, man, I seen you up here before. I said, yeah, you seen me a couple of times, man. At first he was a little timid, a little tense, but you know, you break the ice with him. He's like, oh, I seen you before, man. You cool, bro, you cool. We just got to talking, you know, we're gonna stick next, Jake, and keep it pushing, man. Right. You never know, he may fucking give you more time to do what you gotta do, you know? So, you know, you don't burn the unnecessary bridges, you don't need to burn. Okay, but you niggas, man, you're getting skilled in that so-called law. But that law shit don't work, man. Okay, we've seen many guys try to use it, and then they still got taken to jail or got killed. Right. Because right. that Constitution was not written for you, man. He saw done yeah. away with the Constitution, man. Yeah. yeah. And one yeah. thing he love is a is, is a nigga who think he knows something. Because yeah. he gonna, he going to do everything in his power to prove that you don't... First of all, you don't know shit and you don't have power over shit, man. Right. He will go out of his way to prove that to you, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you saw all the laws being created for your for your uh, well-being, your citizenship. That's for these other devils, man. Right. You see them videos, what it is. It's a it's a Edomite that knows the law believe that, gets, in that? that gets passed. You believe in that? White Jesus, you believe in him? Come on, man. Of course you do. Yeah. You can say so. Yeah. yeah. What you think, man? I don't know, you guys don't mean. So you let me ask you a question, man. Alright. So you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. Alright. So the who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ, do you think he was a man of color or you don't know? I don't know. Have you ever read the Bible? I did. Okay, have you read Revelation? I did. You read the first chapter? I did. So when it described him as being a man of color, would you receive it? Say it again? When they described him as being a man of color, was that hard to receive? I don't know. You don't mind? Is it important though? 